Trinity exposed number 28. Everyone will answer to God. Romans chapter 14, verse 10 through 12. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set it not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. No, 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 no. See, because Christ, Christ is, you know, un unless this is God the Son, but it doesn't say that again. It never says that. Uh, that term, God the Son, appears nowhere in Scripture, and yet they have to use it to make their Trinity system work. They have to add to the Scriptures, in other words, to make their system logical and make it make sense. Uh, you might want to watch out for that. Um, no, it says we're, to, we're all going to answer to Christ. We're all going to answer to God. Why? Because Christ is God. Completely, holy God. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 through 11. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Right there you go. But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. You confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord. The term Lord is God's title. In the Old Testament, uh, he was called Jehovah. New Testament, he's called Jesus. But it's the same God. All right? You will answer to God, and you will answer to Jesus. They're both the same. Get that figured out.